Welcome to this tutorial about using Jabref to cite references in Word and LaTeX. If you're here, it's either because you watched the first tutorial where I introduced you to Jabref and how to add entries in Jabref, or you already have a Jabref library and you want to learn how to use Jabref to cite references. So in this video, I've already created a library and we are going to pick up from there and then start citing references in Word first and then in LaTeX. So stay with me. So let's start with Microsoft Word. To use these references in Microsoft Word, what you do is you come to File, then you go to Export. Then you can either export all the entries or you can select some of them and then export the selected ones. So when you come to, let's assume we want to export all the entries. So when you go to all entries, you come to save as type and then you select MS Office 2007, which is an XML file. So when we select that, we want to replace what we have here. So I have a folder where I, I want to save the references in. So I hit on save and I replace it. Now, you have an XML file saved onto your computer, which contains your references, which you want to use in Microsoft Word. So let's assume that I'm typing something, I'm writing a paper in Microsoft Word, and I want to cite the references that I have in BibTeX, sorry, that I have in Jabref. So you first come to references. Now you need to let Word know about Jab, your, your citation list. So you come to references, then you go to citations and bibliography and hit on manage sources. So here you can delete the ones you already have if you don't need them. And then you come to browse. So when you hit on browse, you then hit on the XML file we saved. So there they are. These are the citations that you had in your library in Jabref. So now you just have to select all of them. I'm holding down shift and I'm selecting all of them clicking on the last one so that I can select everything. Then you hit on copy. So when you do that, now they are native inside Word. So when you want to insert a citation, say after the full stop, you simply come here and then you hit on insert citation. And then you look for the title of the paper you want to insert. And then there it is. You can do that for any one you want. And when you are done, you can actually change the citation style too. So currently it's on APA style. You can change it to Chicago style and it becomes author and year, or you can change it to something else, MLA, and then it changes accordingly. So when you're done, you can then insert your bibliography at the bottom of, this, of the work you've done. And then everything will be listed for you based on the citation style you you used so it will be listed in that order so that's how it works in microsoft word so to summarize you create your library in jabref you add the entries and then you export it as a word 2007 xml file come into word and then click on manage sources under citations and bibliography and then highlight the references or citations you want then you copy them natively into word then now in word you can hit on insert citation and then you can insert them and when you're done choose the style you want and then insert your bibliography so that's how it's done in word so let's move on to latex how is it done in latex now the procedure for latex is much more magical to be honest so you when you come to jabref you have the my references.bib file so that's the bibtech file for latex remember that when you're labeling latex files when you're naming latex files you don't leave spaces so you can use either dots or underscores but i prefer underscores or no spaces you have any kind you can use any of the standard naming systems so when you do that ensure that you save it in the same folder that you have your LaTeX file. 
So here I have a LaTeX file which I'm going to open in Tech Studio. And the LaTeX file is called BibTech Examples. So in the folder here, I have BibTech Examples. And in that same folder, I'm going to have my references. So that's how LaTeX will know where to find the BibTech file. Or you can give it a relative directory or a relative reference to where the BibTech file can be found. So now that I have the BibTech file and the LaTeX file in the same folder, when I come into LaTeX, I'm then going to tell LaTeX the name of my bibliography. And that is my references. Now that I have that, I can now just press backslash sites and then the citation keys are there. You select which one you want and then you hit run and then it cites it for you. Now, why, why did I say it was it's magical to use Jabref alongside LaTeX? It's actually my preferred bibliographic database when I'm typing in LaTeX because of the seamless interface that they've created between the two. So for example, if I want to cite something here, I, I just have to place the cursor here, then go back into Jabref and select the the reference I want to insert then I just click on tech when I hit on that you see it's inserted the citation there for me so I don't have to remember the titles I just have to go back to Jabref or I just have to put the place the case where I want it to be go to Jabref and then select the articles I want to cite and then so I can actually select more than one. I've currently selected three. And when I hit on tech, it inserts it for me. So it's very seamless. It's very seamless between Tech Studio and Jabref. And you don't have to worry about remembering citation keys or the titles. You just need to know the title of the paper and everything is going to work out very well for you. And when you run it, every time you run it, it automatically adds updates the reference list for you. So citation in LaTeX using Jabref is really cool and it's really smooth and you don't have to do manual referencing. I'm not an advocate for manual referencing. Something will definitely go wrong if you do manual referencing. So just like the Microsoft Word approach, let me summarize what we did for LaTeX. So for LaTeX, after we created the library in Jabref, we saved it as a bib file, a bibtech file, and saved it in the same folder where you have the LaTeX file. Now that you have the bibtech file in the LaTeX folder, you then use that same name in LaTeX to tell LaTeX to link it to your database. So that is what I have here. Now, when you do that, you just need to type the command backslash site and then the citation keys show up. If you don't want to use the citation key approach, you simply have to place the Keza wherever you want to insert the citation. Go inside Jabref, select the citation or citations you want and then click on tech. Note that if you have more than one LaTeX IDE on your computer, so take Take for example, if you have Tech Studio and Tech Maker and Emacs and other ones, when you click on this Tech button, it's going to introduce, it was going to bring down a list of all your applications, then you select the one you want. So that is what Jabref is all about. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So we learned about how to use Jabref by adding libraries which contain our citations. And there are several ways you can add citations or entries into your library in Jabref. You can also keep several libraries for different projects in Jabref. And Jabref works seamlessly with Microsoft Word and even more seamlessly with Tech Studio when you are typing in LaTeX. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out my other tutorials on my channel. I have a number of tutorials on Mendeley. 
how to use Mendeley to cite references, how to use it to manage your citations. And I have tutorials on Google Scholar and Ryan for systematic reviews and other tools. So I'm still working on populating my channel with all these tutorials that will help make our life easier. So if you enjoyed my work, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about my channel and encourage them to subscribe and support my work by hitting the thumbs up button and hitting the bell notification so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.